Hi everyone, welcome to questions on entropy changes. This first question we have here is asking us to complete the entropy profile diagram for the reaction that it's given us there. In equilibrium 3.1, it's asked us to have the activation energy, entropy change, delta H, and the formula reactants and the products. A couple of marks, and you've seen this um, before back at GCSE, so hopefully it shouldn't cause us too many problems. This is what your diagram should look like. Now, how do we know that it's exothermic? This particular shape here, well, we get that from this here. So the fact that it's a negative delta H sign tells us that the Ford reaction is exothermic, and the question did ask us to draw the profile for the forward reaction there. So going through and highlighting things are always important when you're going through the questions. So that's the general shape that we need. Got to make sure we have our H2 gas and our, H and our I2 gas from our equation at the top there. We have that for our reactants. And then we also have our 2HI gas as a product. We have our activation energy labeled as Ea. We have our delta H value added there as well. So that should all be good. So there are marking points there, quick labeled, and all good there. Now, if you wanted to, if you put on the activation energy being 173 and delta H being minus nine, that would be absolutely fine as well. But if we have those there, then we have two marks. Okay, and the last part of this question here, I've brought some information over so you can see what's going on, saves you going back and forth. We're asked to work out the activation energy for the reverse reaction. So we've been told the value for the forward reaction. Now one mistake can be people just think, okay, well, it's the same for the reverse, it's 173. That's not the case. If we look at the forward reaction, which is exothermic, well, that means the reverse reaction must be endothermic. So if we kind of look at it, if we read this reaction profile that we have here from right to left, it looks like an endothermic profile. So we'd start here with our reactants. We'd then go up to our peak for activation energy, then come down, and these would be our products here if we're reading it backwards, if things were changed around. So if that's the case, for an endothermic profile, the activation energy is from the very top of that peak all the way down to the bottom. So that, for, that therefore means we need the value for activation energy for this, which thankfully we have over here. And we also need the value for delta H, which again we have is there as well. So we take both of those and we simply add them together, which is 182. Next part of the question, final part of the question, working out the bond entropy value for HI. Normally what we do is we take the reactants minus the value for the product, and that would equal, in this case, minus nine. What gives us overall, but unfortunately we don't have those products. We don't have the values for the products. So what we do is we do what we normally do, We'd have our 436 plus 151 gives us 587. Normally, it'd be minus the value for the products that equals minus 9. But we need a little bit of rearrangement going on. That then gives us 596. But that would be for two lots of a H to I bond. We only want one lot, so therefore divide it by 2 gives us 298. Okay, that will do us for today on questions with enthalpy changes. See you next time.